Let's go 57 Commander, Studebaker Commander, V8. Yeah, it's funny. I look at this stuff. I like seeing blems like that. Because a lot of times that indicates it's original. This car has had some paint. But there's a lot of original, a lot of original items on here. Bailout Studebaker. Yay! Don't laugh. My Studebaker might be worth more than what you drive. <laughs> Continuing with the 57 through 60s. Look at this hawk. Not a golden hawk. Just a hawk. I love the engine turn dashboard. That's kind of cool. The ashtrays. Back seat's not even that tight. It's very interesting. Leg room's a bit shy, but still, you can fit real people back there. The rear wing, wing windows open. TT is for twin traction, as a posi traction. Now, if you notice, they had to add their fins. I'm going to show you right there. That's the cap. So you see the seam right through there. Comes right on around. Look at the seam. That's the way it was manufactured. Very interesting the way how they did that. In later years, they clipped it. Again, 60 Studebaker Hawk. I've got to get this Daytona convertible. Eight cylinder. On Studebaker's last hurrah. That is cool with the little stubby air conditioning. Nice instrument panel. I've always had a soft spot for uh, these Studebaker convertibles. I like the Lark, but the Commander, that's right up there too. You can see the way how they modified uh, and kept it going. The way how the body panels were actually added, the end caps and such, to give it a different look. Add new fenders in the hood line, and you could turn a Lark into a Daytona. Yeah. 